they needed just one chance in the decider in that final against Mark Williams. As usual, they're going to lag to see who has the choice of break. It's closest to the ball cushion. Sean Murphy run in 2017. So off we go, Hussain Bafai gets the, the Masters World Grand Prix. We've got lots to come, but four days of fun. And what an opportunity for somebody, as we saw round. See that ball miss, of course, we've got the likes of Mark Allen playing on every round, so it's it's pretty cutthroat the whole way of playing this. There's a bit of... If it is tied, then it goes to a blue ball shootout. The first five minutes, there's a 15-second shot clock. The second five, and we've seen a few people fall foul of that over the years. This is a rather quiet start, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't matter because it's 10 minutes. And all of that adds up to quite something. We have seen the defending champion knocked out. Quick thinking, smart thinking. Look at the previous winners. You know, they're all pretty smart players, including the fight. Still not a ball potted. And it's true what Rachel said, you know, all these different nationalities. Finland last year, Hossein from Iran. So yes. it does bring a different dimension to snooker. In the meantime, it's still nil-nil. And format, of course, on the circuit. We've never had a nil-nil. And safety does play a huge part in all of this. You know, you've got to keep your opponents out. The way that players pop at long range now, even that last shot of Murphy's because of that red that's out. So he's keeping that key ball as much down to the left side as he can. It's getting very interesting, this. Yeah, such good players, that's why they're wary of leaving any sort of chance. We want our money back, someone said. And that's also, so you've got to make sure you hit a cushion on these. You've got to make sure you hit a cushion on these. He's just got there, yeah. just got from the start without a ball going in. But what have they got to have to go at? Murphy did have a chance earlier. He missed a long one. And that was a safety error, but it may not be that bad. The cue ball's heading in behind the yellow here. It hit something on the way through. The time allowed on the shot down to 10 seconds per shot. That's when things do get a little bit uh, fraught. With nothing on the board. It's been a terrific safety battle. As I say, it, it plays a part, David. You can just see a possible edge of a red. Oh, there's the mistake. There is the mistake for Murphy. Can he capitalize? It... Oh, he's hit the wrong red. That's an absolute. He's in. Battle, but then he didn't take advantage. The other thing to say is that uh, we have seen the players over the years get a little too cautious when they're in front, but. this white for this well I don't blame him not actually I thought it was a risk there is plenty of it you could it's an edgy <laughs> encounter isn't it and this is an Murphy down the other end of the table. I think Murphy might have to start having a flash at a few now. You take risks. So you have to sort of close the shop a little bit. Playing almost conventional snooker. But these two are all over the place right now, aren't they? There's something I think about going first as well. You know, your first match. I mean, even there, you know, Murphy, how many of those does he miss really? But this is. Oh, my word. Oh, he's oh. made a foul. Wow. He wasn't it. You lose control of the table playing it like that. time on each shot because the mistake is everywhere there well it, it, it completely didn't looks like it's going to continue unless there's a light slip he misses this one which the first round the first match well, it took a long time and Murphy in the end has made the most of this one and has